Are octopuses aliens? It's a weird question. But then again, they're very weird creatures. How weird? The answer might surprise you. You see, octopuses are capable of doing things that most other animals could never even dream of. And as you'll see in this video, some of those things are downright otherworldly. When you think of an octopus, you might picture just one type. But there are actually more than 300 total species of these fascinating creatures. They also come in a variety of sizes, from huge to very small, with some boasting some very unique features, such as ear-like fins on the head or huge webbing that trails behind them. But while they sure are adorable, did you know that all species of octopuses are venomous? Don't worry though, only the blue-ringed octopus has been proven deadly to humans. So far. For a little background, you should know that octopuses belong to the class Cephalopoda, a grouping of marine animals that includes squids, cuttlefish, and nautiloids. The name cephalopod means headfoot, referring to how these animals' arms connect directly to their heads. And since octopuses don't have shells, their soft, boneless bodies can radically alter shape, enabling them to squeeze through even the tiny gaps. As long as their beaks, the only truly solid part of their bodies can fit through, the octopus can too. And that's just the start of the weirdness. Octopuses have a unique circulatory system consisting of three hearts, all with different jobs. You see, two of these hearts are responsible for pumping blood through the gills to provide the octopus with oxygen, while the third heart is tasked with circulating blood to the organs and muscles. However, this third heart actually stops beating when the octopus swims, which is why they often prefer crawling to conserve energy. And unlike humans, which have iron-based hemoglobin that makes our blood red, octopuses have copper-based hemocyanin, which makes their blood blue. But this isn't just about being different. This bizarre adaptation allows them to transport oxygen efficiently in very low temperature, low oxygen environments like the deep ocean. Many octopuses can escape danger by releasing a squirt of ink and jetting away. While it's still pretty gross, it's important to note that this ink is not just any dark fluid. In fact, it contains melanin, the same pigment found in human hair and skin. This is what gives it the dense black appearance necessary for creating a smokescreen that confuses predators, allowing the octopus to make a quick escape. But the ink is more than just a visual barrier. It also contains a compound called tyrosinase, which can burn the eyes of predators and temporarily impairing their sense of smell and taste. The ink is stored in a specialized organ located near the digestive system. Once they use up their ink, only a proper diet can refill it again. Octopuses, along with their squid and cuttlefish cousins, are masters of camouflage. In fact, they're capable of literally changing the color, brightness, pattern, and even texture of their skin in a flash to hide in plain sight, or communicate with other octopuses. This ability to transform is due to specialized skin cells called chromatophores, which are tiny, color-changing organs filled with pigment. By expanding and contracting these cells, octopuses can create a variety of colors and patterns that help them perfectly blend into their surroundings. Despite having only one type of color receptor, octopuses can perceive different wavelengths of light thanks to their unique pupils, which act like prisms. This allows them to detect subtle differences in light and shadow, enabling them to match the colors of their environment with incredible accuracy. When it comes to changing the texture, that relies on small, muscular projections called papillae. With the flick of a muscle, the octopus can create bumps and ridges to mimic rocks and sand, and even other animals. Contrary to Aristotle's ancient claim that the octopus is a stupid creature, octopuses are actually incredibly intelligent. Over the years, they've been shown to be able to navigate mazes, solve problems, remember solutions, and even use tools. 
The theory goes that when the octopus lost its shell 140 million years ago, the pressure of predation likely drove the evolution of their remarkable intelligence. Thanks to documentaries like My Octopus Teacher, we now know that octopuses can easily differentiate between people, even when they're wearing the same outfit. They also play with one another, perform practical jokes, and hide from their caretakers just for fun. An octopus's eight arms are marvels of multitasking, capable of performing separate duties simultaneously. This is thanks to large nerve clusters at the base of each arm that function like mini brains. This decentralized nervous system means that each arm can process information and make decisions independently. An arm can even continue to explore and respond to stimuli after it's severed from the octopus's body. The arms are also equipped with over 2,000 suction cups. These give the octopus an amazing grip, but they're also equipped with chemical sensors that allow each arm to feel, taste, and smell its environment. And that missing arm? No problem. Octopuses actually have the ability to regrow new ones. Every animal has to reproduce. But for octopuses, every single mating encounter is a one-night stand. And don't worry, because the process is also extremely weird. During coitus, males use a specially adapted arm called the hectocotylus to deliver a sperm directly into the female. While crucial for making little octopuses, doing so marks the beginning of the end for both the male and female. After mating, the male octopus's cells start to age rapidly. Not long after he dies, the female then goes on to lay anywhere up to 400,000 eggs, which she carefully arranges and attaches to the ceiling of her den. Once her eggs are laid, the female octopus will devote herself entirely to protecting and tending to them. However, this also requires her to stop eating. By the time the eggs hatch, the female is either dead or very close to it. With their unparalleled intelligence, unique physiology, and astonishing abilities, it's no wonder some speculate octopuses came here from another planet rather than evolved in the same primordial soup as everyone else. Either way, these incredible creatures do a great job of challenging our understanding of what life on Earth can be.